Hey, math students, uh, GED graduate uh, Charlene is in college now and she is having to work on some understanding of fraction problems and she is just not liking the way her college professor is explaining these things. It's confusing, she says. Well, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me. A lot of college professors are really adept at teaching high math and struggle with what's supposed to be the basics. At least it's like too easy for them and they... <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll give quick explanations. So let's take a look at this. Okay, anyway, enough of that. The gas tank of your vehicle is a quarter full. What fraction represents the amount required to fill the tank up the rest of the way? And they even were nice. They gave her a little picture of a gas gauge here. And her gas gauge was kind of pointing at this mark. Okay, so let's look at what's going on here. Okay, so we're looking what fraction, what fraction represents the amount required to fill the tank up the rest of the way. Not what we have, but what we would need in order to be full. So let's take a look at our diagram. This is what we have. We have this, they told us that's a quarter tank. Uh, and they're wondering how much we would need to fill it up the rest of the way. Well, if we filled it up the rest of the way, we would fill it from here to here. So they're asking, like, what fraction is that? If that's one-fourth, well, what's that? Well, think about what it means for something to be one-fourth. That means they took the whole gas tank, so there's the whole gas tank from empty to full, and they broke it into four equal pieces. So four equal pieces means they cut it in half, and then in half again, they cut it into fourths. They cut it into fourths. Now we have one of those fourths full, but we have some empty fourths. We have one, two, three fourths that are empty. One, two, three, how many do we have? Three. Of what size? Fourths. Three fourths of the tank that's empty. You could also picture your gas tank like this. If it's a fourth full, that means the gas tank's been cut into four equal pieces with our eyes and we have this much gas. And if we wanted to fill it up, we'd need one, two, three more fourths. Each one of these is one fourth, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, three fourths full. All right. So um, if you only have one fourth tank of gas, you would need three fourths more to fill it up. Now, I'm going to guess that the way your college professor tried to do it was by doing a number, one, subtracting the one-fourth from that, the one-whole tank, converting the one-whole tank into four-fourths, subtracting out the one-fourth, and giving you three-fourths. And yes, that is how you could do it mathematically, but just why when we can so easily visualize something like this? All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.